I'm Steve Tarano with Ask a Rule Expert. Rule 3 sent me this question. Hey Steve, how much cheat is enough or too much? I mean, if I'm generating momentum on, let's say, back or bicep exercises, how will I know if I'm using too much? Well, I think you'll know. If you know that your performance or your form is so sloppy that it feels uncomfortable or you feel like you could possibly get hurt doing it, you'll know. But I always love when people want to say, man, looks like you're cheating that up. Really? I'm cheating it up? I'm cheating these 80 pound dumbbells up when I'm curling? If I'm cheating them, why don't you sit down and you cheat them up for 10 as well? Or if you think my partner is cheating that 405 up for 8 on the bench press because he has a little momentum at the bottom, I tell you what, you lie down on the bench and do it. You have to remember this, that the body has to flex and move. If it didn't, there's potential for injury there. Why does a fishing pole bend? Because if it didn't bend, it would break. So when we're moving on certain exercises or during certain exercises, we're doing this to dissipate the pressure on the muscles, tendons, and ligaments, and attachments. So by moving a little bit, you're able to generate a little momentum with the weight, and then after that, the muscle kicks in and lifts it. So when I'm moving a little bit, when I'm curling the dumbbells, I'm moving this way. The dumbbell does not go up. The only reason why the dumbbell goes up is because I curl it. Okay, so this forward and backwards movement just gives that dumbbell a little momentum and then my biceps kick in and snap it up. That's the truth. Also, I'll give you another piece of advice with regards to cheating up a weight. You know, the first five degrees of motion of the shoulder occurs with the rotator cuff, not a strong group of muscles. After that first five degrees, the deltoid kicks in. So a little bit of a cheat on laterals, whether you're doing one or two hands, is a good thing. It helps protect the rotator cuff. Very, very important. And by using a little bit of momentum, a little bit of cheat, that allows you to handle a little extra weight, causing additional contractions or intense muscular contractions above and beyond what you're normally used to, causing more trauma on the muscle, causing greater growth and increases in strength. So again, Knock it off with, oh my God, I can't believe that guy's cheating uh, the weight up. They, they even have kettlebells now at gyms, which is, I think, one of the dumber exercises or dumber pieces of equipment. But what do they have people doing? Swinging them around between their legs, hoisting them up over their, over their heads and stuff. But nobody seems to bitch about them. Oh, you're cheating that kettlebell up. Oh, no, you're, you're supposed to swing these, but you're not supposed to swing the dumbbells up. Really? Give it a break. I'm Steve Tarano. Train smart. Train hard. Love your body.